Welcome back to my channel. Just a life vlog, what I'm doing this week. Hi everybody, I'm craving cauliflower and cheese sauce. I was gonna make cauliflower steaks, but I just don't even feel like them. I'm really gonna do what I'm craving. So I'm gonna take this uh, cauliflower and instead of boiling it and doing it the old boring way and everything, I'm just gonna clean this all up and then I'm gonna break it into pieces. I'm gonna roast it in the oven so it has a little bit of crunch on it. And I'm gonna make this for a meal for myself instead of um, a bunch of other stuff like, you know, uh, chicken or whatever. I'm just gonna make this a whole meal because I'm gonna be using cheese and all that jazz. So I'm gonna break all this up and um, put it into a little dish and I'm gonna roast it. I probably don't need the whole thing. And I'm gonna make a really small um, cheese sauce. Just I'm gonna use two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of flour, and I'll, uh, what else will I add? Probably about a half a cup or a cup of milk, and probably a half a cup of uh, shredded cheddar cheese. And then I'm gonna put pour that on top and bake it in the oven. I'll show you as I go along. So I'm just gonna get some florets here and roast them. This one's a little big. And I don't mind the stem on them a little bit. It doesn't bother me. I don't like mushy or mushy or what I guess whatever word you want to use. Cauliflower. That's why I am going to roast it a little bit first. So I'll probably use a half a head, which that's enough for me. And I'll put a little bit of salt and pepper on that. I'll probably put some... Probably add a few little flakes of peppers because I like everything with a little bit of kick in it. Not always, but lots of times. It's not coming out as fast as you think it is. <laughs> there you go. And I'm just going to pop that in the oven until it gets all crusty. And I'll make the cheese sauce. So I'm going to make a cheese sauce. I got two tablespoons of butter in here. Um, I'm making this as a full dinner for myself because it's just me and it's a little more on the high calorie because I'm going to use two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of flour, quarter cup of cheese and I don't have any milk so I have uh, coffee creamer which is I think 10% and I put a quarter cup in and add the rest with water and that's fine for me. Is, should I do it like that? Probably not, but you know, you use what you have, honey. I'm gonna sprinkle in a couple tablespoons of flour in here. I'm only gonna use two and just cook it off. So I'm making a roux is all I'm doing. So it's two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of flour. That's it, that's all, it's that basic. I just like to cook my flour off. I'm gonna turn this down a notch. I like to uh, definitely cook off some of that flour. And then I'm gonna add in my, my um, watered down cream. And that's about three quarters of a cup. But this is gonna cover all the cauliflower that I'm making. So as soon as this heats up, it will start to thicken. I just wanna get the lumps of the flour out of here right now. And that's how it's looking. And it'll all come together really quick. Once I, um, yeah, I think the lumps are gone. Just heat that up a little bit more. And I'm gonna add a quarter cup of cheddar cheese in here. And I just cubed it because I didn't have enough to do anything else with, so. Don't, don't worry, I'll use every last drop of that quarter cup. <laughs> so. Is it the lowest calorie dinner? Hell no. It's got a cheese sauce on it. But if that's all you're having with all that cauliflower, that's a big dinner for me, actually. It's like a half a head of cauliflower and the cheese sauce. So, yeah. If you're craving something, make it. Just take something else out. So I'm not having any protein with this. I'm not going to make um, any chicken or fish or anything like that. But this is looking really good. And there, it's all coming together. The cheese is almost melted. And I'm going to turn it off now because I'm going to pour it over my roasted cauliflower when it comes out of the oven. There, we're done. 
That's his, how easy it is to make a cheese sauce. I like pepper, so I'm gonna add some pepper. You should use white pepper, I guess, if you want it to look fancier, but it's just for me. If I was making it for a dinner party, I probably would use a white pepper. There you go, all done, nice and thick. And that's gonna go over top of the cauliflower. See you when that comes out of the oven. Roasted this for 15, 20 minutes, I guess. My cheese sauce has cooled down quite a bit, so it's gonna look a little lumpy going on, but I'm okay. It's just gonna bake onto this. And I'm gonna use every last morsel because I'm liking this dinner. This could be a great side dish, but for me, it's gonna be a full dinner. Listen to it crackling. Okay, and then I'm gonna pop this back in and uh, brown up the cheese sauce on it. There's a few cheese chunks in there, that's lovely. If I had a little more cheddar, I would put it on top, but I don't. I don't eat a lot of cheese anymore. I just had a small brick of it as I make um, flatbread pizzas sometimes. I'm just trying to eat really healthy. You know, I was trying to lose another 5, 10 pounds, whatever. I've been trying for a month, and I haven't lost really anything. So when I'm not cheating or anything, maybe this isn't the best thing to be losing weight on, and I, and I respect that. But if that's all you're having, it's really not that bad. So... I'm gonna put this back into the oven and brown it up. And then my dinner will be ready. I'll show you when it's all, when it comes out. You know, I want it all bubbly on the top. It's looking good. Okay, it's out of the oven and it's all ready to eat. It looks amazing. So I'm gonna go enjoy. There you go. We'll talk to y'all later. Take care. Please like and subscribe, follow along. This would be an amazing side dish for um, your Easter dinner. Okay, this is ridiculous. I'm doing my shoes now. That bag there, it's one of those big, big garbage bags. I filled it up three times now. These are some of the coat hangers, just some of them. And this bag's full of uh, clothes I'm taking to the Goodwill. Now I'm gonna get busy and do all my shoes and get all this dropped off. Uh, the closet's getting a little thinner. Uh, I do need to do this corner of my life too. Most of that I did and organized and it's pretty straight. I just have to do the laundry basket full. It's all clean clothes. I just gotta figure out what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of. Pulled out all my summer stuff. This stuff goes out on the patio. I'm gonna just give it a quick wash everything. I'm gonna actually wash the sofa covers as well. And that's what I'm up to today. Lots of excitement, not. So we'll get busy. I'm still looking for two hooks for my drapes. I got the, the tie backs. I just need to put like a hook here on the window. So when I get there, I get there. But I am busy working on the closet. Um, and hopefully I get this done in the next couple days. The shoe thing, it's like there's so many that are just like, they're like brand new. I mean, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this. These have never even been worn. So I might post some of these on Facebook Marketplace. I might just post about 15, 20 pairs at a time and say 100 bucks, 100 bucks or something like that. So there you go. That'll be what I'm doing today. And I'm just finishing up my packing to go away. And I'll probably post this vlog tonight. We'll talk to y'all later. <laughs> My crazy little laugh. There you go. Okay, I went to go to the bank, but there's a huge lineup for that. So that's not happening. Um, my card's not working on tap anymore. So I just thought it, uh, God, I look a hot mess. Um, I just thought I would <laughs> go and get my, um, so I just went to the cash machine. I'm gonna hand off for a pedicure. If you pay cash, you don't have to pay the tax there. I love it. Get my pedicure. And I'm so happy to be sitting here getting the massage. My absolute favorite part mm. is the massage. I love it. Now, baby feet. Got in for my pedicure. Very happy with it. And I stopped at the grocery store and I got cilantro, 
mushrooms, two things of green onions, some eggs, a thing of bananas, a thing of jujubes for my daughter, take on my trip, and sprouts, a plantain, sesame seeds, cornstarch. I bought a bag of the cabbage because I'm going away and I'll just eat that until I go. Organic uh, arugula, a bag of um, corn flour. They didn't have the brand I like, but I bought it anyways. I bought a bag of raisins because they were on sale. Soy sauce, a big thing of dish soap. And I've been buying this. This is my second time now. They're bread at frozen shrimp. They're so good. I'm just going to tell you. Um, they are 142 calories, I believe, for five. You know, plus the frying. So you're looking at 400 calories, about three, 400 calories. But I make that a dinner. So that's my groceries for the next week. And that's what I'll live off of. I'll do um, flatbread pizzas and onion. I'll do the shrimp. And I'll do the cabbage um, pancake. Of course, an egg or something if I want one in the morning. I have everything else. And that cost me, I think, 48 $46.82. There you go. Not so bad. The shrimp was like $14. The dish soap was probably $6. Cornstarch was $5. Sesame seed was $6. So that's where the big bulk went. The vegetables alone weren't too much. So very happy with that. Got that all done. Favorite dinner. I'm actually going to make a few of them and put them in the fridge so I don't have to make it for a couple days. So I made a big bowl of it. It is my Korean pancake. I love them. So easy to make too. And like no calories. It's awesome dinner.